Welcome, my name is Fabian Cook and I'm the Chief Audio Engineer here at Harvard Studios in Los Angeles, California. My job is to deal with all the pre and post audio for the TV shows we do here. Shows like Love That Girl for TV One, Family Time, In The Cut, Grown Folks for the Bounce TV Network, just to name a few shows. Today I'm going to take you behind the scenes, give you a little sneak preview of our Personas AVB system, show you the equipment we use, how we capture the, the sitcoms, and talk a little bit about the workflow here. So if you're ready, come on, let's go. So we have these huge Fisher Boom systems which allow the shotgun mics to hover over the TV sets and follow the actors around to capture the dialogue. These boom mics are plugged directly into a Personas NSB stage box, which we also use for comms and to send headphone mixes back to the boom operators. The stage box travels with the boom system from set to set. A CAT5, CAT6E cable connects the stage box to the AVB network via one of several RJ45 connections, strategically located close to each set. All these connections merge into a SW5E switch located in the studio's rafter. This SW5E switch is connected to a second SW5E switch close to the sound mixer. This second AVB switch is where we connect our Mac, which runs our routing, control, and recording softwares. This is also where we connect the centerpiece, the brain of the system, the Persona Studio Live 24R Series 3 mixer. I still do have a few traditional non-AVB connections, things like the Comtex system for the studio, uh, the audio I send back to camera, and my HP4. So that's the basic hardware setup and connections. Now let's take a look at the software and the workflow that brings it all together. So the first thing I do is to recall and confirm the connections and routings for the AVB network. Next I'll open UC Surface which controls the 24R. Everything comes into and gets processed in the 24R. Then it gets sent out with no noticeable latency. I also run Lockstep in the background. This is a free software I downloaded which allows my DAW to lock to an external timecode from the cameras. This will be very helpful when it comes time to lock the audio I've recorded back to picture. The outputs from the 24R can be routed to the AVB, the USB or the analog outputs, which allows me to record in whichever external or internal DAW I choose. I simply select the source from within the DAW of my choice. So this system may not have been specifically designed for use in a TV studio like this, but for me, there were so many advantages to working with a system like this. With me coming from a musical background, the audio quality has always been very important to me. The sound quality is just unbelievable. Uh, it's crisp, it's clean, but at the same time it's warm and very friendly, you know, to the ear. You get all the tools you need to really get beautiful dialogue, you know, to control the sound, especially in a harsh, unforgiving environment like, you know, shooting sitcoms with comedians and those guys, you know, they're very dramatic. They go from whispering to screaming and, you know, everything is always, you know, it's over the top a lot. There's not much room in, in this business for bad takes. You know, we gotta do it again because the audio was clipping, it's distorting, it's, you know, it wasn't right. So it gives me the tools to help get it right the first time. On a typical shoot day here in the studio, we'd have to, you know, wind up all these big heavy audio cables and, you know, roll all this stuff around from set to set. Now we're just looking at one Cat5e or Cat6e cable. Anyway, I gotta go back to work. Thanks for stopping by and see you next time. Thank you.